The vastness of our universe is beyond comprehension, and our solar system is but a tiny fragment of its grandeur. Although we have gained a glimpse of its depths through the remarkable first images captured by James Webb, as well as the pioneering voyages of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 into interstellar space, it is clear that the universe extends far beyond the edge of our solar system. But as magnificent as it is, the solar system is equally terrifying because we still have no idea what lurks out there in the vastness. In today's video, we will talk about the terrifying phenomenon that scientists have just detected entering our solar system. As scientists continue to study the heliopause, they have made alarming observations of recent changes that defy explanation by current models. But first, what is the heliopause? The heliopause is the boundary between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium. The heliosphere is a vast bubble of plasma or charged particles created by the sun's solar wind that envelops our solar system. It extends far beyond the orbit of Pluto and serves as a protective shield, deflecting most of the high-energy cosmic radiation that comes from interstellar space. The interstellar medium, on the other hand, is in the sparse and tenuous matter that exists between stars in the galaxy. It is a mixture of gas and dust, consisting mainly of hydrogen and helium, but also containing trace amounts of other elements. The heliopause is not a static boundary, but rather a dynamic one that changes shape in response to the varying pressure of the solar wind and the interstellar medium. The solar wind, which consists of charged particles and magnetic fields emanating from the sun, travels at supersonic speeds and creates a shock wave at the edge of the heliosphere. The heliopause is an important boundary to study because it helps us understand the dynamics of the solar wind and its interactions with the interstellar medium. It also provides important insights into the structure and properties of the interstellar medium and the galactic environment. Scientists have been studying the heliopause using data from spacecraft such as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, as well as from ground-based and space-based observatories. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are robotic space probes launched by NASA in 1977 to study the outer solar system and beyond. Both spacecraft have travelled farther from Earth than any other human-made object, and they are still operational and sending data back to Earth today. Despite their journey, the Voyager spacecraft visited Jupiter and Saturn, and Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune as well. After completing their primary missions, the Voyagers continued to fly toward the edge of the solar system and eventually entered interstellar space, making them the first human-made objects to do so. The Voyager probes carry a variety of scientific instruments designed to study the environment of space, including cosmic rays, magnetic fields and plasma. They also carry a golden record containing sounds and images from Earth, intended as a message to any extraterrestrial life that might encounter the spacecraft. But the real twist is yet to come. Recent observations have revealed unexpected asymmetries and changes in the heliopause, which have led to new questions and challenges in our understanding of this boundary. This ongoing research into the heliopause is undoubtedly leading to new insights and discoveries about our place in the universe, and sometimes these insights are simply terrifying. Since the heliopause is the ultimate frontier of our solar system, its transformation is a subject of intense fascination for researchers. The new data is pointing to a series of unsettling modifications that may have profound implications. Recent developments in our understanding of the heliopause have been brought to light by NASA's interstellar boundary explorer, IBEX. The IBEX is a spacecraft designed to study the interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. Launched in 2008, IBEX uses a suite of sensors to detect and map energetic neutral atoms, known as ENAs, that are created at the boundary between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. 
The ENAs detected by IBEX is unique because they are neutral, meaning they are not affected by the magnetic fields that permeate space. This allows them to travel in a straight line, providing a direct measurement of the particles and energy that exist at the boundary between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy. By studying the ENAs in detail, scientists can gain insight into the dynamics of the heliosphere the structure of the interstellar medium and the interactions between the two. In recent research, the IBEX has captured data showing brightening ENAs. These observations have revealed a lack of symmetry in the heliopause, indicating significant changes in this region. The heliopause appears to be undulating and forming oblique angles in an unexpected manner, adding to its eerie and enigmatic nature. While it is not a new concept that the heliopause is not static, researchers have discovered over the past decade that it can change shape. Although the Voyager spacecraft provides direct in-situ measurements of the boundary's location, they offer data from only one point in space and time. As such, IBEX's contribution will help to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the heliopause's behavior, which will be crucial in unraveling its mysteries. Although the situation is intriguing, scientists will have to rely on existing spacecraft such as Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 along with the available data to gain more insight into interstellar space until further discoveries are made. By analyzing the data captured by Voyager and IBEX, scientists have created models to help predict the behavior of the heliopause. In essence, the boundary is in constant motion due to the dynamic interplay between solar winds and the interstellar medium. Furthermore, upon reviewing the data gathered by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, scientists have detected additional changes in the heliopause. The evidence suggests that something remarkable is occurring in the boundary between our solar system and the interstellar medium, which could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of the universe. The changes observed in the heliopause were so drastic between the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 missions that they challenged the current models of the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. The significant variations could also account for the extensive gap in the timeline between the two probes entering the interstellar medium. However, recent research on the heliopause has revealed data that contradicts previous findings. The findings by IBEX in 2014, which detected a series of brightening ENAs, suggested asymmetries in the heliopause. Subsequently, the team realized that these asymmetries did not align with the previously established models. The discovery highlights the need for continued research to gain a more comprehensive understanding of this complex phenomenon. Reviewing the data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the scientists found that the heliopause underwent a rapid and drastic transformation, which explains the significant gap between the two probes' entry into interstellar space, occurring in 2012 and 2018 respectively. They plan to continue studying the heliopause with the help of NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, set to launch in 2025, which will have the capability to detect ENAs. This sudden shift in heliopause also contradicts the established models. The researchers refer to these discrepancies as intriguing and potentially controversial in a paper published in the journal Nature Astronomy. The future of heliopause looks promising as scientists continue to explore and study the outer boundaries of the solar system. One of the upcoming missions by NASA, the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe IMAP, is specifically designed to study the heliosphere and the heliopause. IMAP is expected to provide a more detailed and comprehensive understanding of the heliosphere's structure as well as the processes that shape it. The probe is set to launch in 2025 and will use a suite of instruments to measure and map the distribution of particles and magnetic fields in the region. In addition to IMAP, there are other proposed missions that could provide further insight into the heliosphere and heliopause, such as the Solar Winds Magnetosphere Ionosphere Link Explorer, SMILE, and the Heliopause Electrostatic Rapid Transit System, Hertz. 
The Solar Wind Magnetosphere Ionosphere Link Explorer is a collaborative scientific mission between the European Space Agency and the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It aims to study the complex interactions between the Earth's magnetosphere and the solar wind, which can lead to space weather events that can disrupt communication systems and other technological infrastructure on Earth. SMILE is set to launch in 2024 and will use a unique set of instruments to study the physics of space weather. Its primary payload includes four identical instruments to measure the Earth's magnetic field, ionospheric plasma, energetic particles and neutral atoms. These measurements will be used to study the transfer of energy and particles between the Earth's magnetosphere and the solar wind. One of the most exciting aspects of SMILE is that it will use novel imaging technology to capture simultaneous images of the Earth's magnetosphere and the solar wind. The instrument responsible for this is called the Soft X-ray Imager, which will take advantage of the solar wind's interaction with Earth's magnetic field to provide unique insights into the structure and dynamics of the Earth's magnetosphere. The SMILE spacecraft will carry a suite of scientific instruments to make detailed measurements of the solar wind and its impact on the Earth's magnetosphere. It will also study the aurora borealis, the colorful light displays in the high-latitude regions of the Earth's atmosphere. SMILE has the potential to greatly advance our understanding of space weather and its impacts on Earth and may ultimately lead to improvements in our ability to predict and prepare for space weather events. The Heliopause Electrostatic Rapid Transit System Hertz, on the other hand, is a proposed mission by NASA to study heliopause, the boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium. The mission would involve sending a probe to the heliopause using electrostatic propulsion, which uses electric fields to accelerate and propel the spacecraft. The Hertz spacecraft would use a lightweight, high-power electric propulsion system to make its way to the heliopause in just a few years, instead of the decades it took Voyager probes. The spacecraft would carry a suite of scientific instruments to study the magnetic fields, particles and other phenomena of heliopause in great detail. Overall, the future of heliopause and heliosphere research looks bright as scientists continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of the outer reaches of the solar system. In the meantime, the spooky and enigmatic phenomenon of heliopause continues to intrigue and mystify scientists as they try to unravel the mysteries of the universe. In terms of space exploration, NASA and other space agencies are planning various missions to explore our solar system and beyond. For example, NASA is planning to send the Europa Clipper mission to study Jupiter's icy moon, Europa, in the mid-2020s. Additionally, the James Webb Space Telescope, which launched in 2021, provided us with further unprecedented views of the early universe and helped scientists study exoplanets in more detail. This isn't the only discovery made in recent years in the solar system. There have been numerous recent discoveries made in the solar system. In 2020, NASA's Curiosity rover found that Mars has seasonal fluctuations in the levels of methane in its atmosphere. This discovery has led scientists to believe that methane may be produced by microbial life on the planet. However, this theory is still controversial and more research is needed to confirm it. In 2018, NASA's Parker Solar Probe flew closer to the Sun than any other spacecraft in history, and the data it collected has led to new discoveries about the solar wind and the Sun's magnetic field. For example, the probe found that the solar wind is faster and hotter than previously thought, and it also discovered that the Sun's magnetic field is more complex than scientists have previously realized. In 2019, the New Horizons spacecraft flew by a small icy object called Arakoth, which is located in the Kupia belt beyond the orbit of Neptune. The data collected by the spacecraft has led to new insights into the formation of the solar system. In 2020, scientists announced the discovery of a new exoplanet called TOI 700D.
This planet is located in the habitable zone of its star, which means that it could have liquid water and support life. This discovery has generated a lot of excitement in the scientific community, and it highlights the potential for finding habitable worlds beyond our own solar system. These are just a few examples of the many recent discoveries made in the solar system. As technology continues to advance, scientists are likely to uncover even more fascinating insights into the workings of our solar system and the universe beyond. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we are constantly reminded of how little we know and how much there is to discover. The changes in the helioscope, the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space, serve as a powerful reminder of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.